What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Now, we're going to be looking at the top 5 things that you may have missed in the early teaser trailer released earlier this year. So, what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer quickly and we'll come back with the countdown. Okay guys, let's jump straight into the countdown. Number one, what is the mysterious planet that Luke has decided to exile himself on? We know from the director of Star Wars Episode 8 that Luke has been currently living in exile on the planet Arcto, rumored to be one of the locations for the Jedi Order's first temple, which Luke went in search for after the destruction of his own Jedi Order at the hands of his nephew Ben Solo or Kylo Ren. It is entirely possible that Luke did in fact find that first temple and the fabled journal and we're betting that it's the book that we see in this trailer. Moving on to number two, we do see in the trailer that Luke is stationed inside a cave somewhere, but isn't really a cave. Now, the thing you might have missed is surrounding the books behind it, it's not like a cave wall. It is actually branches. So it could in fact be the inside of a tree, not just any regular tree, a force tree. Now, we do know that there were two remaining force trees. One was taken by Luke and one was taken by Poe Dameron's mother. And this was discovered in the comics. So if you've just watched the movies, you probably won't know this yet. And it's a little tip for you, Lee leading into the movie. Moving on to number three, and this feeds off number one and two a little bit, the books inside the Force Tree are known to be very, very rare. Now, if anyone's been reading Inferno Squad like we have, there is a chapter in there where it does mention the rarity of books. And if you think about it, all through the Star Wars series, you've never seen books, or very, very rarely do you actually see books. So Luke having found these in the original temple may be something very awesome. Now, the book that is open in the trailer is the Journal of the Wills, and it dates back to the first First drafts of George Lucas's Star Wars scripts. It's thought to be kind of a Bible or history of the Star Wars galaxy. Now we don't know anything about this book so far, but we do know that one especially noteworthy passage from the book goes like this. First comes the day, then comes the night. After the darkness shines through the light, the difference they say is only made right by the resolving of grey through refined Jedi sight. The ancient order of the wills were a group of force-sensitive shaman that predated the Jedi and the Sith. Together they chronicled the history of the galaxy and that chronicle became known as the Journal. You may recall that Chirrut Imwi and Bayes Malbus from Rogue One referred to themselves as Guardians of the Wills. Was this foreshadowing The Last Jedi? It could be, it could not, we don't know, but it's definitely something 
something that no one would have known just from watching the trailer. Now, for those of you that don't know what it means by the gray, the gray code is something in between the Jedi and the Sith. So it is a balance between the light and the dark side of the force. People that are known to be gray Jedi balance between the two. So anyone like Ahsoka that balanced in between the two, she didn't follow everything the Jedi Order said, but she wasn't on the side of the Sith. This is someone that balances in the gray code. Moving on to number four, deep in the background of this trailer, we do hear original trilogy voices. So if you listen carefully, we do hear Princess Leia saying, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi at around the 47 second mark. Following that, we hear Obi-Wan Kenobi or Old Ben saying, seduced by the dark side of the force at 54 seconds. And at one minute and two seconds, we do hear Yoda's voice muttering something about balance. Could this be force ghosts are going to be in The Last Jedi? It could be. Or could it be Luke just having a flashback and thinking back to earlier times? Moving on to number five, what is going on with the red dust? Now, I know you've all been thinking about this and it had us thinking too. So we did a little bit of digging and we do see in the trailer a bunch of fighters streaking across a field towards a line of First Order walkers or what have been referred to as guerrilla walkers on a planet called Crate. The producer of Star Wars has gone on to say that the ships are flying over salt plains covering a bed of red minerals and that it's the site of an old rebel base that's now abandoned. This could have something to do with Finn's side of the story or possibly Poe Dameron. We did see images of Finn inside one of these fighters streaking across the field. So we do know Finn learns to fly or is learning how to fly and we're excited to see where that goes. If you liked what you saw in this video, please subscribe, like or leave a comment down below on what else you spotted in the trailer. We will do our best to bring more as further releases come out, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, I'm the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you.